Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50p's we're hunting through. We'll be looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally new ones for the book. There's just one coin we still need. There's a link to the in the description to the books that I use if you want to pick them up. Um, we don't need anything for the first three pages. We just need Olympic Triathlon. And then this book is complete. We've got all the commemoratives up to and including the Coronation 50p. Obviously no Atlantic Salmon because that's a definitive, not a commemorative. So let's get into these bags, see what we find today. Right, we'll open the first bag in real time. And I'll show you whoops, what we're looking for. If I can get my hands around them at some point. There we go. Right, so that's Britannia, the st standard definitive design used on 50Ps all the way up until 2008. 2008 is the key date to look for, it's the lowest minted circulating year. After Britannia, this became the definitive design, the shield of the Royal Arms. Uh, key dates on these are 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18 and 2021 for the non-circulating years and then 2017 for the low minted uh, circulating year. These were used up until 2022 and from 2023 onwards. Uh, up until now it is the atlantic salmon as the new standard design we've got pride there so one of the more recently circulated commemorative coins but a rather high mintage and then we've got christopher ironside there which is a lovely find uh, I, it's, a, it's a very common coin just worth 50p but i keep the ball because uh, we share a name and that makes sense um, so we've got a few commemoratives so far which is good going and there's another one there it is Paddington at the station. So one of the four Paddingtons you can find in circulation. Again, all four of those Paddingtons are quite common, but that's a very good start. Three commemoratives on the board. What we're going to do now is just speed up until we find some more. Oh, that didn't take long at all. First coin in, it is the Platinum Jubilee. Now, there are two versions of this coin. One that went into circulation, one that didn't. You couldn't tell by flipping it over. So that is Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait of the Queen. This is how it should appear in circulation. Collectors could purchase the same coin but had the Queen on horseback. Uh, that, that version of the coin, that variant of the coin, was not put into circulation. So if you find one of those in your change, that was not supposed to be there. And we've got Roger Bannister there. So Roger Bannister is quite common, but let me move some of this out of the way. Back in 2019, celebrating 50 years of the 50p, these 10 designs were all restruck for collector's sets. You see Roger Bannister just there. If you find any of these 10 coins, do take the moment to check the date on the obverse to see whether it is a restrike or an original circulating one. It's dated 2004, so this is an original circulating one. All of the uh, restrikes are dated 2019, of course, because that's the year that those sets were created in. Battle of Britain. So again, a very common circulating coin, but could be part of the restrike set. But also, there is uh, two different portraits used of the Queen uh, back in 2015 when this coin was released. Uh, the Ian Rank Broadley fourth portrait appears on this coin in the collector's sets, uh, whereas the Jodie Clark fifth and final portrait of the Queen appeared on this coin in circulation. So we'll flip it over and see. It is 2015 dated, it is not a restrike. It is Jodie Clark's Portrait of the Queen. You can see his initials just there for JC. So this is how it should appear in circulation. It is not one of the exciting NIFC variants of that coin, but uh, again, it shouldn't be in circulation, but always worth checking because it would be a very cool thing to find out in our change. There's the Memorial 50p. This is the first coin put into circulation with King Charles III's portrait. It's a very common coin though, but I think it's an interesting coin, um, being that uh, changeover point from Queen Elizabeth II to King Charles III. We've got Girl Guiding there, again, common coin, but could be a restrike. This one is not there, you can see it's dated 2010, unfortunately.
Oh, Tom Kitten there. It's a little bit grubby. But uh, yeah, any of the 2017 Beatrix Potters are pretty common coins though. But uh, always nice to see. It's a cute character, isn't he? Oh, it's Benjamin Bunny. Most common circulating commemorative 50p out there. No rotation error, whoops, on him. Always worth checking for because that does make it, uh, or change it from being a rather boring Benjamin Bunny into a rather exciting find. It's Tom Kitten again. A little less grubby than the uh, first one we found. Oh, there's another Paddington. Oh, it's again Paddington at the station. This is one that I don't tend to find all that often, Paddington at the station, so we found two of him and none of the others so far. Start this bag with the diversity of Britain. We've not had it today, but it's still a very common coin. And there's girl guiding again. Again, a bit bit dirty but it's fine it's only worth 50p uh, and it's uh, an original circulating one not a restrike Ooh. so then this is the obverse of a Kew Gardens imagine we find two Kew Gardens before finishing the book that would be uh, crazy but uh, it is also the obverse of a WWF 50p, which would be a nice consolation prize if it's not a Q Gardens, because the WWF 50p is lovely. It is, of course, also the obverse of the Commonwealth Games, which is more more likely to be. But let's cross our fingers and check. Ah, Commonwealth Games. There we go. It's fine. I found a, I found a Q Gardens this year. I'm not owed one. <laughs> Although it was three years waiting for that one, so um, um, maybe I'm due some. Uh, who knows? We'll carry on hunting out. I, I would love to finish this book with that triathlon, but. Uh, Who's going to send out a Kew Gardens? That's 2017 Shield. 
one of the key dates we look out for. I'm not actually really looking out for the key dates. Uh, so like these ones, I'm not even flipping over to check the dates. That is because at the end of the video, I will flip through all the coins. This is why I'm splitting out the shields and the Britannia. So it's not nice and easy at the end of the video just to flick through them all and pull out any key dates I might have missed. Twenty seventeen dated another shield. Oh there we go. Spotted two during the hunt, that's good going. There's the king once again. It's another memorial fifty P. Right then, last bag of the hunt. We've had a, an array of different coins, nothing spectacular, but you never know what might turn up in this, the last bag. So, as usual, in the description of this video, you'll find a link across to my coin collecting Discord server if you'd like to come and join the community and myself over there. There's also links to my other social media channels, the PO Box address if you want to, to write in to me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, that's the company I work for as my day job, so please check them out too. I'm just going to whisk through the coins off to the side now and see if there's any key dates that I've missed throughout the hunt. Well unfortunately, just the one additional key date, a 2017 shield, but uh, not the worst result. Well now, we didn't get an awful lot in terms of um, star finds, we got a, a nice mixture of different things, but um, pff, I don't know what I pick of the star find there, it was all much of a muchness, maybe my Christopher Ryan side, I do like Christopher Ryan sides. Um, yeah, we got, we, at least we got a variety of things, that's all I'll say. Let me know in the comments what you'd pick as the star find, all it leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins, bye.